Robin again and today I'm out in the woods on a beautiful November day in Indiana and today I've got a product review for you. I'm going to review the Open Country Explorer Grid. Check it out. Now one of the things I really like about the Explorer, Explorer Grid is that it's compact size lets it fit right in your backpack. The main grill is 12 and a half inches long, it's 6 inches wide and 7 inches tall. The legs fold out like this and it's pretty sturdy for uh, a small grill. I'm going to use it today to uh, cook a little pasta and use some of that spaghetti sauce I dehydrated in one of my previous videos. Now the Explorer grill fits right over my fire. It's pretty simple. I'm going to use my World War II canteen and my canteen cup. And we're going to heat us up some water for our pasta. I think it's only going to take about, oh, half a cup or so of water. There we go. Now I'll let that get boiling and I'll get right back with you. Get a little boil going here. I got a bag of panini that I uh, measured out in a one cup amount in a Ziploc and just threw it in my bag. I got a couple of them in there just for days like today. I'll just pour that in there and boil it for 10 minutes. Now I don't need my lid, but I like to use it because it keeps the uh, ashes from falling inside. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Now one of the beauties of this canteen cup lid is it has these holes built right into the, these holes built in and I could strain pasta. So I want to strain this pasta but I want to leave just a little bit of water in it for my dehydrated spaghetti. I'm not going to pick that handle up with my bare hands. So I'm going to pour some of this out. You can see down in there, there's a little bit of water. I'm going to put a, a spoonful of my dehydrated spaghetti sauce in there. Now my spaghetti sauce is what I had in the video where I dry, uh, de uh, taffy like uh, fruit roll up like things and I dropped it in a blender and pulverized it into dust. Spoonful of spaghetti sauce. Drop it in and give it a stir up. Keep stirring it as it gets back to a boil. It won't take long because there's less water in here now. So you gotta watch that you don't overdo it. Good, I can hear it kind of boiling again. Now if you got too, if you if you left too much water in, this is the time you could almost let it kind of boil down some. Okay, I think we're ready. Nice hot pasta out on the trail. Looks pretty good. Now I could eat this right out of my canteen cup, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour it out into a plate so that you can see how well it turns out. You can see it's nice and creamy. The sauce thickens right up. And that's all from that dehydrated spaghetti and one cup of panini. I'm gonna take my handy dandy salt shaker I got from uh, Walmart. Get a little salt. Put these rubber bands on here because well, it's from Walmart. A little salt, a little pepper. Now this open country Explorer grill worked out great. I could use it to cook a uh, fried fish or a squirrel or something like that on the grill or just use it with the pots and pans. Um, it only weighs about 13 ounces. So it doesn't take a lot of room in your bag, but I am gonna make a bag or something to either wrap it in or put it in so that the black soot from the fire doesn't get all over the inside of my backpack. So that's my uh, product review for today. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy trails.